Mashor is number one for Roberto Perez. This one comes over from Saudi Arabia. Two is Clyde Cox's Electrolyzer from the UK. Three Averroes, Mirko de Miro and Ernst Ortal. Moden having his second start for Godolphin and Sidebin Straw. So Vesta de Souza rise. Five, Jacobri. If he gets this trip, he's going to be very hard to catch. Six is Foxen for Frankie Dettori and Mahmoud Alzaruni. In seven, it's Rostrum, the red cap of Godolphin, Kieran Fallon. Eight, Irish Flame. This has got a big chance off the back of its latest run. Then we have number 10, Glenn's Diamond for Jamie Spencer and Richard Fahey. 11 is Opinion Pole. 12, Kaspar Bliss, a seven time winner over hurdles under National Hunt rules. 11 is Manjakani. And uh, that completes the lineup for this very competitive race. Astral Thunder there at the bottom. He's drawn on the outside of the field. Written by Gerard Mosse, Kaspar Blitz goes in. And they're ready to run. Racing jumped in a good line. Came out as one with Irish Flame and Manjakani out wide going forward. Ava Rose and Mash Hoare also showing some speed with Electrolyzer and Moden dropping in behind the pace. Fox Hunt is just off the speed as they come down to the judge the first time and he's three wide where Saudi Arabia's Mash Hoare went to the front. Ava Rose is second, Electrolyzer the grey pops in on the rail. He's third on the heels of the leader. Fox Hunt a length and a half away running fourth, Moden fifth on the fence, blue colours and white cap. Then Irish Flame followed by Jack Aubrey, Rostrum, Manjakani, just a little wide on the turn out of the straight. Glenn's Diamond is on the rail. Opinion Pole is second last, and Kasbar Bliss had dropped out to the tail of the field as they went their way out of the straight towards the back of the track. First 400 metres in a leisurely 28.5, and Mash Hoare is making play. Leading by a neat length over Ava Rose with Electrolyzer, a length away running third. One and a half to Fox Hunt, and a half length away is Moden on the rail. Then a length and a quarter to Irish Flame. The same margin away, Jack Aubrey check colours on the fence on the inside of Rostrum, the blue colours and the red cap. Manjakani's out three wide as they work past the mile marker. Glenn's Diamond on the rail has settled better tonight than he has at his past two outings. Opinion Pole second last and Kasbar Bliss is three quarters of a length away. They left 800 behind in 55.3 and the first 1200 metres in 121.2. Not out to break records, travelling down the back of the track and Mashor still by a length over Ava Rose with Electrolyzer tucked in on the rail. He's running third. Fox Hunt is fourth on the outside of Moden. Now Opinion Pole's gone up to be behind Fox Hunt. He's improved on the outside of Irish Flame. Jackalbury's on the rail and then Manjakani Rostrum. Glenn's Diamond relegated to second last, pinned against the inside and Kasbar Bliss a half length away as they leave the back of the track. 1600 metres in 147 flat and Mashore is a half length in front as he begins to up the tempo Averroes trying to go with him Electrolyzer third, Fox Hunter's peeled now, he's three deep, Frankie starting a run, Opinion Pole trying to go behind him, Moden came off the fence trying to work into the clear, then Irish Flame, Jackalbury Rostrum to the outside Kasbar Bliss, Glenn's Diamond and Manjakani well back as they turn the corner, Opinion Pole after to Fox Hunt and race to the lead 350 out, Fox Hunt hit the front, Opinion Pole comes after him now, they're clear of Jacobry into the clear, Moden on the outside Fox Hunt, Opinion Pole 150 metres left to go Fox Hunt's found a little he's drawn more than a length over Opinion Pole, then Jackalberry, Fox Hunt's clear, drawing to the judge and Fox Hunt too good, Fox Hunt first Opinion Pole second, Jackalberry third then Moden, Glenn's Diamond, Electrolyzer Irish Flame, Mash Hoare, Kasbar, Bliss, Averroes, Rostrum and Manjakani. Fox Hunt, number six, written by Frankie Dettori. Run under his belt and well at the weights after the handicap win and race fitness has probably told the tale. His opinion poll went after him and loomed as a very strong chance but Fox Hunt has outstayed him in the last bit. It may well have been race fitness that told the tale. Number six, Fox Hunt, Frankie Dettori first. It's a double four, Mahmoud El Zarudi. Three tonight for Frankie. Opinion Pole, also trained by Mahmoud, has run second. Written by Mikhail Barcelona. Jack will be third by storming, by, or is uh, ridden by Ryan Moore.
6, 11 and 5. Moden is fourth in the race. Irish Flame is fifth and Glenn's Diamond has run sixth. 6, 11, 5, 4, 8 and 10 and 3, 1.09. 3109. The sectional times were not fast. Whispering Gallery holds the record. Set uh, last year at 257.78. And Fox Hunt tonight running 31.09. He ran 3154 when he won a handicap over the same distance at his most recent start. But that was around. A differently configured rail, 31.09 tonight. Well, he had the run of the race. He had race fitness on his side. I think Frankie knew that and used it when he headed for home before they got to the home bend. Opinion pole loomed up on the outside, and I thought for a few strides it was going to run Fox Hunt down, but then over the concluding stages, uh, fitness kicked in, and Fox Hunt has drawn away again to win conclusively at the end. Opinion pole, but... I would say we'll take a, a deal of benefit uh, from that run and when they next clash it'll be a very interesting outing. Two and a half lengths in the end. Two and a half lengths, a length and a quarter, two and a half lengths. Two and a half lengths, a length and a quarter and two and a half lengths. Fox Hunt by De Bowie from Kiltaba. Is raced by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed El Maktoum, trained by Mahmoud El Zaruni, written by Frankie de Tori. Opinion Pearl, also trained by Mahmoud, is by Helling, written by Mikhail Barcelona, and Jack Aubrey by Storming Home, trained by Marco Botti, and written by Ryan Moore. Uh, Moden has run fourth in the race. Enjoyed a good run, Moden. Much better effort, certainly, than, than at Flemington uh, back in November. A little more like the form he showed, the form that enticed Godolphin to pay good money for him out of Sir Michael Stout's yard. Interestingly enough, uh, when he won at Kempton, he beat Bronze Cannon. He was a winner here earlier tonight. So Fox Hunt is on his way back to the winner's circle. And if memory serves me correctly, that means the best that can happen tonight in the pick six competition is four from six will be the best score. Frankie looks happy. So does Mahmood. As they head back towards the winner's circle, Fox Hunt, the favourite, has won the last. Wow, there we are. Great ride from Frank and Troy. The new staying star here, Fox and trained by Mahmoud Al Zaruni uh, and Frankie de Tori in the plate here aboard this uh, son of Dubawi. Good to see Dubawi. Of course, he's a top class stallion and is a, a son of the great Dubai Millennium himself. And uh, another win for Mahmoud Al Zaruni. I believe that now puts, I think, Saeed uh, and Mahmoud very, very closely matched. Anyway, we'll, we'll get those final um, trainer stats for you. But uh, anyway, they're doing pretty well between the two of them for good old Finn Handlers. And, Sam and Christopher just getting the debrief from Frankie de Tori. But a, a good performance from this horse, and as I said, he did it the hard way again. He was carrying 59 kilos here, so he, he had to give weight to, to all of the field. Uh, well, joint top weight with um, with uh, Moden. Trophy presentation being made to Simon Christopher, the racing manager of Godolphin. He might as well get a little better match there. He seems to be spending quite a lot of time in that number one spot, doesn't he, Laura? He does. They've done really well today, Godolphin. As often we say that here, but nevertheless, you've got to be consistent with your runners, and, and they certainly have. All their horses, I think, improve throughout the carnival. Fox Hunt's had to do that, obviously. He won a handicap last time. Stepped up nicely in, into Group 3 company once again, and a good win for him. Uh, well done to the team. And actually, Godolphin has some strong chance on our Saturday card when they run, among others, Tahama who was very, very unlucky last time and would not at all be a surprise winner. So I think the blue bandwagon will probably roll on a little bit longer. Yeah, race five is the feature on Saturday, 175 grand race. Uh, some good horses taking their chance in that. Looking forward to seeing, I think, unusual uh, suspect goes in that, doesn't he? That's our only turf race on Saturday's yeah. card, I believe. Grand Vent also goes for that man, Frankie de Tori and Sai Bin Sroor. Also rerouted, making another quick reappearance and in fact, in that feature race, Godolphin, or the Godolphin Blue, we've got four runners, Grand Vent, Quick Wit, Master of the Rose, and Simon de Montfort, who is a horse who won out here last year for Kieran Fallon. But he's a, a very, very promising horse. He's probably had a few problems with his uh, legs and everything else. 
but he's got to, when it's all on song, he's got a lot of class about him.